Welcome, brothers and sisters. So good to have you. Welcome to day one of the time of refreshing. Talk, God of new beginning. God of new beginning. Uh, this program is to wrap up the year. 2022 is our end of year program. And it shall be seven days prayer and fasting. Today is our day one. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Is somebody excited to be here? So we we'll want to start right away with opening prayer. And I will ask Sister Comfort Apavio, Mrs. Apavio, to take the opening prayer. Please go ahead and take the opening prayer. Thank you, Pastor. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. We thank you so much, our Father, for your love for your children. The love that has no end. The love that covers all our sins. The love that made you to give us your only begotten son, the one that had been with you from the founding of the world. Mm -hmm. You did not hold him back, but mm -hmm. you gave him to us because of your love, because of your grace, because of how you value us, because of your generosity, Father. We say thank you, Father. Thank you. Father, it is out of this appreciation and thankful heart that we come this evening to say thank you. Thank you. For all your goodness to us. And we also have this program of refreshing, time of refreshing. Father, we want to have a new beginning with mm -hmm. you. We want to take a walk with you, Father. Father, uh, when we have seen how you started from the beginning, you value us. You created us in your own image, Father. Mm -hmm. The yes. very breath that you are breathing, Father, you put into our nostrils. Hallelujah. That, oh. and that connected us to you, Father. Mm, hallelujah. It's a, a, Father, is amazing your love for your children. God, we just say thank you. Thank Each you. time we remember this, each time we know this, we know, Father, your purpose for your children was not for them to come and wander, roam, and face one problem or the other. It was for them, like you said, to be happy, to have dominion, to have authority over every other thing. And while we do our own father, our merciful father will do his own. Mm. But father, you know, you understand everything. That is why we say we come before you, father. Give us a new beginning. Yes, Lord. Father, bless us with a new beginning. This, let this, our meetings of today and this program of the week bring us closer to you, draw mm. us nearer to you. Hallelujah. Make us to walk with you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Please, God, we've called you to start this journey with us. Yes, Father. The Holy Spirit, start with us. Jesus, yes. the great teacher, the mm. high priest who can sympathize with our weaknesses, the high priest who passed through heaven and hell, whose name every other power authority bow. God, mm -hmm. we cannot 
say everything. With freeness of speech, with boldness, Father, Hallelujah. we come to your throne yes. of your mercy, of your yes. grace, yes. so yes. that we will find your favor. Hallelujah. We will find your grace. Hallelujah. God, we don't know how you will do it, but mm -hmm. we know you will do it. Oh, Father, yeah. when Joseph told his brother that they will bow down to him, everybody rebuked Joseph. Every, even the father reprimanded him. But Father, how you did it, Joseph did not know mm -mm. what you did it. Mm. When it happened, it, Joseph didn't tell them. They on their own, bow down oh. to Joseph as you have ordained. Right. All you did was to prepare Joseph, yes, to right. guide him, to be there yes, for right. Oh, yes, thank you. God, we know you can do it. You will do it. Because Christ has already done it for us. Christ has done it for us. Father, help us to yield, to surrender, to wait for you because you will do it, Father. Father, thank you so much. Please, thank God, you. we leave the meeting in your care. Be with us. Let your Holy Spirit take the lead. Guide yes. us and direct us, Father. Yes, Father. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So one more time, welcome to this program. The last um time of refreshing for the year 2022 uh, with our the theme god of new beginning and i want to um, our focus today is retreat our focus today is retreats uh, because this program is indeed a time of retreat. So we'll always again remind us of what retreat is. And the specific um, statement of faith for us to remember throughout today is that God, our Heavenly Father, is the God of new beginning you can write that down please okay. write it down i want you to really write this statement down for yourself i've written it down for myself so, a new beginning god our new heavenly father special. is the god of new beginning as we go new through beginning. you will understand better new beginning new beginning new god beginning. our heavenly father is the God of new beginning. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So the way we will run, as I've said, we'll quickly look at um, um, retreat, which is the overarching appreciation of how we will run this program. And every time we meet, we try to do that. And then we'll just again uh, touch at introductory level on our theme, God of new beginning, the God of new beginning. And then we will pray. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. So let's start by talking about our objective of this program. We know it is for us to be revived. It's for us to yield ourselves to the Holy Spirit of God to be revived. It's for us to grow in spirit and faith. It's to be refreshed and built up and to experience the specific focus of this uh, uh, program, which is New Beginning Blessings. So if I recap that, this program is for us to be revived, 
is for us to grow in spirit and faith, to be refreshed and built up, and to experience the new beginning blessings in every area of our lives, families, nation, and nations in Jesus' name. That's what we are here to do. And following that, we'll continue to seek the face of the Lord in fasting and prayer, studying the word, and ministering to ourselves. Glory be to God. If we just go to um, the book of Joel, the book of Joel, just again to touch on. Remember, we, we, we used Hosea the last time, break up your fallow ground. If we go to the book of Joel, chapter two, oh, glory be to God. If we start from verse one, he says, blow the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord is coming for it is at hand. If we jump then to verse 15. So that blow the trumpet continues. Blow the trumpet in, in Zion, Joel chapter two, verse 15. Blow the trumpet in Zion, consecrate a fast, call a sacred assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, Gather the children and nursing babes. Let the bridegroom go out from his chamber and the bride from her dressing room. Let the priests who minister to the Lord weep between the porch and the altar. Let them say, spare your people, O Lord, and do not give your heritage to reproach that the nations should rule over them. Why should they say among the peoples, where is their God? So from this, you will see the power of this time of retreat. This is what retreat is about. It's a time to call ourselves together and look at ourselves and look at our lives and look at our goals and look at where God said we will be and how far we have gone. And how far is still remaining to go and cry unto him, the God who hears and answers prayer. Things were going bad for the people of God. And the prophet responded. And what was the response? Say, let's have a retreat. Let's have a retreat. Let's have time together and pray to God. With fasting, let's consecrate ourselves. Every one of us, let's sanctify ourselves. Let's separate ourselves to God and seek his face. Let us abstain. from our busyness and focus on our God. And let us say to him, spare your people, O God. Our own, maybe both spare your people, help your people, lift your people, answer the prayers of your people, meet the needs of your people, whatever our cry will be is here in this time of retreat with prayer and fasting. So note Joel chapter 2, verses 15 through 17. Say, let us weep. It may require us weeping. If it's so, require. Or if it's so, uh, if it is so necessary, 
we stop at nothing to plead before our God, to make ourselves vessels for him to use at this time to impact our own lives and impact the lives of others. And here the scripture it says, says that the nation should rule. Or it says, let them say, spare your people, O Lord, and do not give your heritage to reproach. The Almighty God will remove whatever reproach there is in our lives in this time of retreat in the name of Jesus. He said, why should they say among the peoples, where is their God? Is there anything in your life that makes somebody to say, you say you are serving God? Where is your God? Our God will answer us during these seven days in his presence. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So beloved, we have come together to cry to him. And so the time of retreat is the time of solemn assembly. Solemn assembly. I sit there. Blow the trumpet in Zion, consecrate a fast called a sacred assembly. It's a time of a sacred assembly and assembling. Gather the people, every one of us. Sanctify the congregation. So please. This period, don't take it like any other time. Don't be casual. And that's why we have set the times of prayer. Respect those times of prayer. The way God's spirit works, when you tell God, I want to do this, God say, okay, go ahead, and he will watch you. If you keep it, he keeps his own sight. If you don't keep it, that's it. So 6 a.m., wake up and pray. I had an experience today. By 3 a.m., I was awake. And it did some things. I believe I probably sent some messages or so earlier. And I slept back. By exactly 6, I was awake. And I came out of sleep. So it could only have been the Holy Spirit that woke me because I have said it is 6. Though I had woken earlier, which I would have taken as a, a, an excuse myself, but I know the way it works. When you tell God it is 6 a.m., God said, all right, 6 a.m. is here. God will wake up. If you respond, he walks with you. If you say, oh, a little more sleep, then he say, you're not serious. So, beloved brothers and sisters, retreat. It's time to seek the Lord till he pours his spirit upon us afresh. Verse 18, you know, we stop at 17. He said, then the Lord will be zealous for his land and pity his people. 19, the Lord will answer and say to his people, behold, I will send you grain and new wine and oil, and you will be satisfied by them in the name of Jesus. I will no longer make you a reproach among the nations. So when you come to this sacred assembly, when you come to this time of retreat, God is saying that he will answer us. Whatever you put before him, he will answer us in Jesus' name. Amen. And so today, our focus is retreat, as we have just shared. And we want to pray to start with for the spirit of grace and supplication. So let's go to Zechariah. Zechariah. Chapter 12, verse 10. 
chapter 12, verse 10, Zechariah 12, 10. Are you there with me? I'll read. He said, and I will pour on the house of David and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and supplication. Then they will look on me whom they pierced. Yes, they will mourn for him as one mourns for his only son and grieve for him as one grieves for a firstborn. In that day, there shall be a great morning in Jerusalem, like the morning at Hadam Rimon, in the plain of Megiddo. And the land shall mourn every family by itself, the family of the house of David by itself, and their wives by themselves, the family of the house of Nathan by itself, and their wives by themselves. And he continues to talk about the families of Levi, all the families remain, every family and itself, and their wives by themselves. But we're talking about the spirit of grace and supplication. Now, what this spirit does when it talks about mourning here is that, you know, there is uh, what we call godly sorrow. Yes, godly sorrow. The spirit that helps you to seek the Lord. Because if you read the preceding verse in verses 7 and 8, it says, The Lord will save the tent of Judah first, so that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem shall not become greater than that of Judah. The glory. And then verse 9 says, And it shall be in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. Nine. Oh, sorry, then. Um, yeah, verse 10 that we read now. Did I read? Oh, sorry, I jumped verse 8. For it. Sorry, it's verse 8 I was looking for. So verse 8, he said, In that day, the Lord will defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the one who is feeble, among them in that day shall be like David, and the house of David shall be like God, in the uh, like, shall be like God, like the angel of the Lord before them. It shall be in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem, and I will pour on the house of David and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and supplication. That's what we are talking about. We are talking about revival. We're talking about being enlarged. He said that in that day, the feeble one among them shall be like David. Oh, that mighty man David that destroyed Goliath, that killed Goliath. And he said, the house of David shall be like God. Wow. Like the angel of the Lord before them. Ah, beloved brothers and sisters, the, the spirit of grace and supplication will rest upon us over these seven days in the mighty name of Jesus. And so today is to ask for that spirit of grace and supplication is to ask for the strength to go through this journey. Finally, let's zero in on our theme. God of new beginning. God of new beginning. Our text is Je uh, Revelation chapter 21. Please open the text with me. This one you must open. I want us to read it together. Verse 5, because we would soon pray. Revelation chapter 21, verse 5. If you're there, let me hear you say, Amen. Let's read it together. Revelation chapter 21, verse 5. Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Write, for these words are true. 
and faithful. Let's take it again together, brothers and sisters. Because it's so powerful. It is so powerful if you can grasp this. If you allow this word, you know, fuel you, as the Bible says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. If you can allow this word dwell in you richly, and I pray that this word of God will dwell in you, dwell in me, dwell in us richly. We'll feel every breath in us. We'll feel every cell in us if we can allow that to happen, which is the intent of the Holy Spirit giving us this opportunity, then I know, oh, you will enjoy new beginning in every area of your life. I will enjoy new beginning in every area of, Allah, of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's take it together. Then he who sat on the throne said, behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, right, for these words are true and faithful. From this text is why I told us, and it might be the only statement I want to make now, so we can start praying, that God, our Heavenly Father, your Father, my Father, our God, our Creator, is the God of new beginning. So here he has said, Behold, I make all things new. And he didn't stop there. He said, this was revelation to John the Beloved. He said to him, write this one down. Just like I told us when I started with the statement. God, our heavenly father, God, my heavenly father, God, your creator, your maker, our creator, our maker, the creator of the universe, the creator of heaven and earth, the one who made the sun, the moon, the stars, is the God of new beginning. So he said, write this down. Write these words down. For these words are true and faithful. True and faithful. When God says a thing, it is so. When God then says a thing and then tells you to write it down, for it is true and faithful. Then he is saying, this is sure word of prophecy. It is a sure word of prophecy. God, our heavenly father, is the God of new beginning. What he has created you to be is what he will do everything to defend, to walk out in your life, in my life, to bring us to be what he has created us to be. And that's why he is the God of new beginning. He will always create a new beginning to bring you to the new beginning, which is your original intent, purpose, and blessing of God. And so I pray for you as I pray for myself, and I ask that you agree with me as we decree in the name of Jesus that we will enter, enjoy, and fulfill all of God's will and purpose for our lives. That from today, we will walk in the new beginning, according to the divine jubilee in Christ Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And so we want to pray now for this day one. 
We have been waiting on the Lord with fasting and prayer. So as we have heard there and read in the book of Zechariah, the spirit of grace and supplication, and in the book of Joel chapter 2, from verse 15, all the way to 18. All the way to 19, actually. It is time to seek the Lord. And so let's open our mouths and pray. Just go ahead and tell him, Father God, I thank you. It's time to thank him. Let's thank God, number one, for the strength he has given us to wait upon him today. Go ahead and tell him, Heavenly Father, pray with me. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the strength you have given to me to wait upon you. Thank you for the strength. Thank you for the strength of your spirit. As the Bible says, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like the eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the strength you have given to me to wait upon you today, throughout today. Thank you. And for whatever time moment you were able to wait, I know as we go, you will wait full day. If you didn't wait full day today, the strength of the Lord is coming upon you. And so get, tell him, Father, I thank you for the strength you have given to me to wait upon you today. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Number two, tell him, Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord God Almighty. And I join my faith with my brothers and sisters. And we thank you for giving us this opportunity, this program, this seven-day spiritual journey, this seven days of retreat in your presence, this time of refreshing. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for this time of refreshing. We, we thank you for this opportunity, for this privilege. We thank you so much. To you, our God, be all glory. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. And pray again with me and say, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the past time of refreshing. Thank you for the past time of refreshing. Thank you for all the times of refreshing that we have had. And we thank you, Lord, for the blessings that you have poured upon us. We thank you for the revival we have enjoyed through those times of refreshing. We thank you for your spirit grace that you have released upon us. To you, our Father, be all glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now let's thank God for this year, 2022, how far the Lord has brought us and that he has given us this special program to round off the year, to wrap up this year. Go ahead and tell him, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the year 2022. We thank you for how far you have brought us in the year 2022. We thank you for everything you have done for us. We thank you for seeing us through January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, and for bringing us here into the month of November. And today being the 21st day of the month of November, the last but one month of the year 2022. We thank you so much, our Heavenly Father. Thank you for what you have seen us through, carried us through. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for this year, the year that you spoke to us that is a roller coaster year. And indeed, we have seen the roller coaster nature of this year, 2022. Yet in all this, Lord, we thank you. You have sustained us. You have provided for us. You have kept us. You have pre preserved us. You have protected us. We thank you so much, our Heavenly Father. To you, our God, be all glory. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Now let us go ahead and ask him and say, Heavenly Father, Pour your spirit of grace and supplication upon me that in with it that that for this entire seven days the grace to supplicate to pray to meditate upon the word of God will be upon me go ahead and pray father God 
pour your spirit of grace and supplication upon me. The spirit of grace. Give unto me the spirit of grace and supplication. Pour your spirit of grace and supplication upon me. Pour your spirit of grace and supplication upon me, Father God, that for this entire seven days, the grace to wait upon you with fasting and prayer will be upon me. I will be able to go through these seven days with fasting and prayer. I will not be weary. I will not be tired. Father, pour your grace, your spirit of grace and supplication upon me. That Lord, for this entire seven days, I will be able to pray as I ought to pray. Revive me, O oh God. Go ahead and pray. Revive me. Revive me, revive me, revive me in the place of meditating upon your word. Revive me, Father, revive me in the place of prayer. Revive me, revive me, almighty God, in the place of seeking your will. Revive me, O oh God. Pour upon me the spirit of grace and supplication. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and pray for yourself. Go ahead and pray for yourself. You know how it has been with you. You know how strong you have been. Oh, you know those funny dreams that you have still been experiencing because you don't pray as you ought to pray. But God Almighty will always intervene for us. But God wants us to grow to that space, that place, that fullness of Christ. Never you forget. Our journey is to grow to the statue, to the measure of the statue of the fullness of Christ. That's our journey. So pray for the spirit of grace and supplication and ask that God will help you during this meeting to pray as you ought to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Now ask him again and say, Heavenly Father, pour your Holy Spirit upon me. Holy Spirit of God, I yield myself to you, my body, my soul, my spirit, my activities, everything I yield to you. Help me, Holy Spirit. Help me throughout these seven days. Help me to achieve the purpose of this program to be revived, be revived, to be revived, to be revived. Let me experience your revival. Let me have your revival. Help me, Holy Spirit, to grow in spirit and faith. Help me to be refreshed and built up. Help me to experience the new beginning blessings. In every area of my life, of my family, in anything that concerns me, even my extended family, my community, my nation, help me. Holy Spirit, come and teach me how to pray. You are the, my teacher. You are my counselor. Come and help me and teach me how to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now tell him, Holy Spirit, I don't want to go through this program and remain the same. I want to go through this program and be turned into another man, another woman. I want to be turned into the exact image of God that God created me in the beginning. In the beginning. Oh, God Almighty, by your spirit, the Bible says after David was anointed, the spirit of the Lord came upon him and he was transformed. He was transformed. He was changed. The same happened when the Spirit of God came upon Saul and he joined and prophesied, and the Bible says he was turned into another man. 
God Almighty, pour your spirit upon me. Pour your spirit upon my brothers and sisters. Holy Spirit of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I yield to you. We yield to you. We yield to you. We surrender to you. Turn us into another man, another woman. According to the image of God, the image of Christ. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray that prayer for yourself. Pray it hard. Pray it hard. Pray it hard. Pray it. Pray it hard. Oh, Father, pour your spirit afresh upon me and turn me by your spirit. Oh, turn me by your spirit into another man. Into another man. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, go ahead and pray for yourself. Go ahead and pray. Pray for yourself. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Pray again with me and say, Almighty God, the consuming fire. In the name of Jesus, revive me. By your fire, by your fire, let your fire be rekindled in me. Revive me, revive us, O oh God Almighty, the consuming fire. Revive us by your 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 fire, Almighty oh God, the consuming fire. Revive us by your fire. Revive me by your fire. Revive me by your fire, O oh God. The consuming fire. The consuming fire. Revive me by your fire. Revive us by your fire, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Revive us, revive us by your fire, Lord God Almighty. Revive us by your fire. Revive me by your fire. In the name of Jesus. Revive me by your fire, O oh God. Revive me. Revive me by your fire. Revive me, Almighty God, by your fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Now go ahead and yield yourself again to God and say, Heavenly Father, whatever has been a hindrance in my life, whatever has hindered me from flowing in the Holy Spirit, let that hindrance be removed now. Burn it to ashes. Revive me by your fire and burn whatever has been a hindrance. Consume it, Lord, out of my life. Consume it, consume it, consume it out of my life. Let your glory, almighty God, by your spirit come upon me and consume anything that is not of God, whatever has been a hindrance. Father, consume it out of my life. Pour your spirit upon me. Cover me with your glory for these seven days and the rest of my life. Oh, let me walk in the blessings of the new beginning. Let me walk with you. Have a new beginning, a new walk with you, a new walk, a new walk in power, a new walk in your anointing, a new walk in your grace, 
a new walk with you, O oh God Almighty, in ministry, in service, a new walk with you. Father, revive me by your fire. The consuming fire, revive me by your fire. In the name of Jesus. And in the name of Jesus. 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 Father, revive me. Father, revive me. Revive me with your fire. With your fire. Go ahead and pray. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Now let's pray for one another. Father God, revive us, revive us. Whatever has been a hindrance in the life of my brothers, in the life of my sisters, in the life of anyone here that has hindered him, hindered her, hindered us from shining forth, from growing in the spirit, in the word, in prayer, from growing to the stature, the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, from growing into the image, the full image of God for our lives, whatever it is, Lord, we agree together, burn to ashes. Let such hindrance be consumed by your fire, but let your fire revive us. Let your fire revive us. Let your fire revive us. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Lord and our God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Now take one moment and pray for yourself. What is your expectation? You must have your personal goals set. What you want the Lord to do for you. During this period, I know you're going to have a new beginning, just as we were taught. Remember the 13 points that we wrote out. Take them, write them down for yourself, and tell the Lord, I want this. <laughs> oh, our God is good. Isn't he lovely? Isn't it wonderful to have a God? that can, all, can do all things and is more than willing to give his children the best. He's omnipotent. He has power to do anything. Nothing is too hard for our God. Nothing, absolutely nothing. So go ahead and ask now. Ask and we will agree. As we wrap up this first day meeting, and I believe you have the understanding, the, the God of new beginnings. You have the understanding of what retreat is about. And now it's time for us to move by the spirit grace. The spirit of grace and supplication is upon you, is upon me, is upon us to supplicate to bring the will of God to pass in our lives, in our families, in our land, in our nation, to bring about the new beginning that God Almighty, our Heavenly Father, the God of new beginning, has ordained for us to have and enjoy. Let's bring our prayer to a close. In Jesus' mighty name, we have agreed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I pray in agreement with you, my brothers and sisters, that God, our Heavenly Father, the God of new beginning, will grant unto you, grant unto me, grant unto us, 
all our requests in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray in agreement with you, my brothers and sisters, that beyond what we have asked, our Heavenly Father, the God of new beginning, will pour his spirit of grace and supplication upon us, will revive us with his spirit, the Holy Spirit. He will pour his spirit and fire upon us and will revive us, revive our prayer life, revive our meditation in the word of God, he will, his Holy Spirit will quicken us and give us understanding. Our eyes of understanding will be open. Our ears will be open to hear his word. Our hearts, our minds will be open to have understanding and wisdom. We will hear his voice expressly during the seven days and for the rest of our lives. Our God, the consuming fire, will burn whatever is like chaff out of our lives. He will cause his righteousness and his glory to cover us as the water covers the sea. In these seven days and for the rest of our lives, we will enjoy the new beginning in every area of our lives, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As we close this meeting now and break the fast, I pray that the Almighty God will renew our strength as we go to eat. The food we will eat will replenish our bodies. It shall be, our, it shall be health unto us. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray, handing over the rest of the days into God's hand, that tomorrow will be far greater. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so, our Heavenly Father, we return all glory to you for taking us successfully through this first day. And we look unto you for the success of the second day. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.